this is Sylvia from Beauty Cakes and today I'm going to be doing the confessions of a beauty guru tag. Although I don't really consider myself a beauty guru because I really am no guru when it comes to that stuff. I just do the same makeup thing like every single day. Anyways, so I'm going to call this confessions of a beauty YouTuber. Um, tech. <laughs> so the first question is, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing videos? During regular times, I will film once a week, but I'll film like a couple videos in one day. So I'll take about, well it takes me like an hour to get ready for my videos, another like couple minutes to set up my like set up my filming, whatever. Um, and when it comes to like something like a talking video like this, it only really takes me about like 30 minutes to talk or to film it and then maybe 30 minutes to edit it. But when it's something like a lookbook or a styling video or something just with more detail, something like a lookbook, I can take like couple hours to um, edit. If it's something like a special lookbook, like those really pretty ones that you guys see, it takes me like a day or two to film it because I get someone else to film it for me and then it takes them like a day or two to edit as well. Question number two, are you a spender or a saver? I like to think I'm a little bit of both. Um, I know when I need to save money and yes, I do spend a lot. Um, I admit it. At the same time, I don't spend what I know I cannot spend. Um, the only reason why I spend a lot is because I know I have the extra money to spend. I'm not going to spend money that I need to pay rent or buy groceries or necessities and like bills and whatnot, but the extra money that I have, I will save enough for me to, you know, pay off tuition and have uh, money when I'm done school or whatever, but at the same time, I'm in like, I'm like the live in the moment kind of person, so if there's something that I like and I know I have the money for it, then I'll buy it. When is it easiest for you to film? Um, I think the easiest time is on, well, for right now, is on Thursdays because that's the day that I have off of school and any day that I have off of school, I spend um, the day to film and then I do my homework at night. So I basically spend from noon to about 5 o'clock filming and then depending how, um, when I want to put out my video, then I'll edit it. What makes talking in front of the camera most comfortable for you? Definitely when I'm by myself, in my room, no one else can really like hear me, that's the most comfortable for me. But I don't mind having like my friends with me. I actually really enjoy having my friends in my videos with me. I feel really comfortable with them. What is your worst makeup slash hair habit? My worst makeup habit would have to be... Uh, I think washing brushes. I don't wash brushes as often as I should. Especially something like my face brush. I should wash every week or or two, but I wash my brushes like every month or two, to be honest. It's really bad, but you know. And my worst hair habit is uh, probably either picking at my split ends or not using heat protectant. I really suck at using heat protectant. I hate the feeling of it, that's why I don't like it. And sometimes when I have split ends, I'll just like pick at them and pull them apart, which is really bad for your hair to be honest, but that's my worst habit. Don't judge me. What is one quote that you wish the world would live by? Um, oh, this is a hard question. Like, don't put this in and make me think about it right away, okay? Treat others how you want to be treated, maybe? Let's say, for example, some people will only contact other people when they need them for help or something, like if they need something from you. Otherwise, they're not there for you and they don't ask you to hang out. They only want your attention when they need you for something. Um, but then, on the other hand, they expect you to always be there for them. See, like, I just feel like people should treat people how they wanted to be treated. How long do you spend getting ready every day? Um, I say on a regular school day, it takes me about half an hour. I just put a little bit of makeup on and then usually I'll tie my hair up or sometimes if I have extra time, it only takes me really five minutes to do my hair. So um, about half an hour, but if I'm going out, let's say I'm going out um, at night or something with a couple of friends, then it'll take me like an hour to two hours. What is your favorite video on YouTube? Um. I don't know. I haven't really thought of that. Is it really weird that I really like watching like cute baby videos? I think one of my favorite videos right now is this these two babies that are twins and they're like really sleepy but they're eating their food still and they look like they're drunk or something. It's really funny. I'll link it in the description box below. Who's a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views slash subscribers than they have? I think I watch quite a few girls that I really do think that they deserve more viewers. Um, I would say... 
right now I think forget is it her username serene baby I baby ish I think that's something like that I think she puts out really great tutorials she's really creative with her hair and everything like she does hair tutorials and she's so creative I've never seen such creative hair tutorials um, but I just think that she deserves so many more subscribers than she has because her videos are just well put together and her ideas are really creative and original what's one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year um, I'm excited about finishing school, uh, graduating from college. I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm actually in my last year right now, so I'm going to be done um, in April. Yes, I will be done in April. I'm excited to finish my marketing program and just see what life brings me. I think that's what I'm most excited about right now. Um, that and going on vacation. <laughs> What's your most awkward filming moment? And I'm vlogging. Uh, sometimes I want to vlog something, but people are watching me like, what are you doing, you know? So, I don't know. I, you know, I can't specifically think of a moment but sometimes I'll like film myself talking and then someone will look at me and I just pretend that I like am not talking to myself in the camera how long does it take for you to prep for a video it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half uh, like I said doing my hair makeup whatever like gathering all my stuff that I need to film with setting up my filming whatever that takes a little while so yeah are you wearing pants or jeans or skirt right now or actually or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms or sweatpants i don't know let's take a look do 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 <laughs> i'm actually like always in sweatpants or pantless every time i film i very rarely am in a full outfit when i'm filming to be honest what are you most proud of in your life um i think currently right now I'm just really proud of myself that um, at my age right now, I'm 19, I'm turning 20 in uh, less than a month actually, I'm turning 20 on December 5th, but at my age right now, like I moved out when I was 17 and I was able to move out, I was able to pay whatever like my rent, my foods, groceries, all that tuition, all that stuff by myself, I didn't need to ask my parents for, ne for money, um, so I just feel that that was a really proud moment for me for me to be able to move out on 17 and not depend on my parents anymore and I'm at the point in my life right now where I can provide back to my parents I want them to reti retire early I don't want them to work any longer than they have to so um, I told my parents if they ever need money from me to just let me know and I will give them the money because right now I have the money to give. I have enough for me to sustain living by myself, buy the things I want to buy for luxury. I can cut back on what I spend on because really my spending is right now just like for pleasure so I can cut back on that and give my parents money if they need it and it just it makes me really proud to be at the age I am and to be able to sustain on my own and, and also provide for my parents as well.